Hi, good afternoon. My name is Judith Howell, and I'm calling on behalf of the Investments in Eagle Families Coalition and as a resident of District 4. I'm in support of Item 11, and I appreciate what Supervisor Lawson Raymer's office is doing to address public safety and to include community input in the planning stages. I hope the county will take more proactive actions to address public safety and the over-policing of Black, Brown, and Indigenous people and continue to work with community partners in the early planning stages. Lives will be spared when we move away from punitive and exploitive practices and towards restorative practices that not, not, not only keep people alive, but provide an opportunity to receive care and rehabilitation. Police are more likely to use lethal force when attending to an emergency call when a person is experiencing psychiatric distress. My friend Kylie Carolino experienced the death of her uncle outside of her bedroom when the police were called to do a safety check while her uncle was experiencing a psychiatric episode. His name was Dennis Carolino, and he died in his home where his niece Kylie and his aunt were present. He was 52, and he forgot to take his medication. He needed help, and instead he died. In 2019, KPBS reported that 65% of San Diego police shootings happened less than less than five minutes after an officer arrives on the scene. The police have become the first point of access to mental health support for many underfunded communities. We need less police and more healthcare professionals with trauma-informed care, empathy, and compassion for people who are suffering and in need of medical attention. And I emphasize having trauma-informed healthcare providers because many people who are um, brought into hospitals for treatment can also be criminalized by healthcare providers who don't have trauma-informed care. And lastly, the county must prioritize the needs of transitional youth to reduce recidivism and provide opportunities to include, but not limited to mental health resources, housing and employment opportunities. Thank you.